So now you can see, here's that Nintendo Switch OLED. No bubbles, no dust, first try. I love it. Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to show you the best screen protector that you can get for your Nintendo Switch OLED. This is the Nintendo Switch version two, but underneath it, a brand new Nintendo Switch OLED. We're gonna take it out of the box and immediately put on the best screen protector that you can get. And that is this one right here, tempered glass. It's got everything that you could want and more scratch resistant, super hardness, zero bubbles, ultra clear. But one of the reasons why this is the best is this is a certain version that comes with an easy installation kit. You can see right here, easy install. The one thing everyone hates about screen protectors is putting it on because you always mess up the first one. But this easy install kit makes that job super easy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on our Nintendo Switch OLED. Now you can get a three pack of the screen protector without the installation tray for 10 bucks, but for $5 more, you get the two pack with the two installation trays. And I'm gonna show you right now how to put it on. This is the AM Film One Touch Tempered Glass Screen Protector for the Nintendo Switch OLED. I do have the AM Film Tempered Glass Screen Protector on my Nintendo Switch version 2.0. And look at that, it's held up amazingly well. Now I'm gonna show you how to install this tempered glass screen protector on your Nintendo Switch OLED. So the first thing you wanna do, you do not want the Joy-Cons on your Nintendo Switch. So if you have the Joy-Cons on, take them off. Super easy, just a couple steps. In the box you have the wet wipes and the dry wipes the two tempered glass screen protectors with the easy installation trays, and these dust removal stickers. This is what you use right before you put on the actual screen protector. So we're gonna go ahead and open up one of these screen protector installation accessories packs. Inside, you got your microfiber cloth, your wet wipe, and your dry wipe. So first you wanna hit it with the wet wipe to get all those dusts to stick to it, and then you wanna use the dry wipe to wipe up any remaining dust that somehow found a way to stay on there, and then after that, you use the dust remover sticker, and then you put on the easy application tray. So what I recommend is opening up your wet wipe and dry wipe packages first so that they're ready to go. The longer you take to do these steps, the more dust is gonna accumulate on your Nintendo Switch screen. And you don't want dust, that's the whole point of this. You want it dust free, and we're gonna get this baby dust free. So right now I'm just prepping everything to go in the order that it needs to go in. Ooh, tempered glass screen protector with easy application tray. Now again, this does come with two, so if you mess up the first one, which is unlikely since you have the easy installation tray, you do have another chance to try it. There is the installation guide, but we don't need it because we are pros and you're gonna be a pro. That's why you're watching this video. And we do have these dust remover covers. I'm not gonna actually use these because I think that's an extra step that gives you a chance for more dust to get on there, but I love that they're in there if you wanna be extra safe. All right, here we go. One of the things that I recommend is having really good lighting because that will allow you to see the microscopic dust pieces. And another thing you can do if you're afraid of too much dust in your house is you can actually apply this in the bathroom while you have your shower running hot water. That actually adds a little bit of mist to the air which helps to settle all the dust in the air. So little pro tip, if you're really struggling or you have an extra dusty house or you're like a dust monster or something, maybe turn on the hot water in your shower and do this in a well-lit area in the bathroom with the shower running. That will eliminate more dust than if you just do it in a normal room. But a key is that you wanna have a lot of light. That will allow you to see the minuscule little dust flakes that like to get caught underneath. So we're gonna go pretty quick here because the longer you take, the more dust will accumulate on your Nintendo Switch OLED screen. We're pulling it off here. You can see there's already one piece of dust, two pieces of dust. First step, just get it centered right here for me because I need to see this baby. First step is the wet wipe. Use the wet wipe. Go ahead and wipe it down, soak it up. This will be the one and only moisture bath that this Nintendo Switch ever gets. That's to soak up the dust and then you wanna hit it with the dry wipe real quick. 
Now, as soon as you're done with the dry wipe, this is when the dust is gonna start to accumulate. The second you stop dusting it is when dust starts to settle. So what the instructions actually recommend at this point is that you use this dust cover sticker, you peel this off, you place it down, and then you peel it off here using the tab, and that will sticker off any dust. But we're pros, we're doing it quick, so we don't need that dust sticker. But if you have any anxiety about putting on your screen protector, and let's be honest, everyone does, I would use that dust sticker. Now here's the other pro tip that I have for you. On the underside of this tray, you can see it fits on the top of the screen like that, and then you slide your finger down the middle, and that's going to allow the screen protector to evenly apply with no bubbles. But what my pro tip is, is you have to peel off this underside sticker so the bottom becomes adhesive. What I do is once I feel like there is no dust on here, normally I wouldn't take this long, but I'm trying to make sure that you guys get it done in the absolute best pro way possible. I would do the wet wipe, then I would do the dry wipe, and I can see there's no dust. I would peel this bottom sticker off, which is what I'm gonna do in a second, and then immediately apply the tray so that there's no time for dust to settle. If you wipe it with the dry wipe step, and then you hold this up and you peel it off like this, there's now dust settling on the sticky side. So what you wanna do is quickly, once you're done with the dry wipe, you can see there's no dust on there, peel this, peel this bottom part off and immediately put it. So you're almost like a roof covering the top of the screen from dust. So I'm gonna peel it off like this while hovering it over so I can immediately get it on there and then you slide your finger down the middle to have it apply. So we're at the dust step right now. I can see that there is no dust. I'm looking very, very carefully. I don't want any dust on this. It's a Nintendo Switch OLED. I want this screen to be bombastically beautiful. I don't see any dust. The more time that you leave before actually performing one of the dust wiping actions, it only takes one second for a dust to get on there. So I don't see any dust. I'm still checking. Getting ready for the pull step. No dust. No dust pull step. We can see there's the roof. We have our roof over it. And then it aligns perfectly right onto the Nintendo Switch. And then slide your finger down the middle. Push these corners out. Now, once you've done the slide part, this is where you get to lift off the application tray. Slowly. And now let's check it out. Got our little dust wipe. So as you can see, no dust, no bubbles. So again, one of the reasons why you want this one in particular, besides all the amazing features it has, like the extra hardness, screen clarity doesn't affect the screen quality of your OLED at all. It just protects it with tempered glass and it has the easy application tray. You can get this in a three pack for 10 bucks with no application tray if you're extra confident. If you wanna hover this over without this applicator tray, that's up to you, that's your call. But if you want that extra security of knowing it's gonna work the first time, you get the two pack with the application tray and you know what, that's it. So now you can see, here's that Nintendo Switch OLED. No bubbles, no dust, first try. I love it. So a lot of people have been asking me, do the old original Nintendo Switch screen protectors work for the Nintendo Switch OLED? The answer is no. It's a different size screen. This is a bigger screen. Also, the speakers are on the bottom of the Nintendo Switch, where the original Nintendo Switch has the speakers on the front. So no, you have to get the new Nintendo Switch OLED screen protectors. And we'll have the Amazon links down below, but oh my goodness, now you can enjoy it to the maximum. Let's go ahead and turn this baby on. And you know what, the best part, we still have an extra easy application tray, tempered glass screen protector that we can put on in the future if we decide we want to.
It's so funny, dust now will start to accumulate. Dust is on the earth, there's nothing you can do. Look at that. No dust, fully protected and super, super easy to do. It could not be easier. You know, the extra five bucks for the one touch screen protector version, it's worth it for your peace of mind. Spend five extra bucks to not get stressed out. First try, no bubbles, no dust. So using those tips and tricks that I just showed you, that is the easiest way to, in general, put a tempered glass, ultra protective screen protector on your Nintendo Switch OLED. You can use those same strategies to put a screen protector on any Nintendo Switch. So use those pro tips. And again, there is a three pack of these without the one touch applicator. And then for $5 more, there is a two pack that comes with two one touch screen applicators. So it's up to you. Do you wanna pay 10 bucks for a three pack and take the risk? Or do you wanna spend five bucks more and feel like you're on vacation while you're putting on your Nintendo Switch screen protector? Make sure you get the right screen protectors for your Nintendo Switch. There are different OLED versions and normal Switch as well as Nintendo Switch Lite screen protectors. So make sure you get the right one by reading the descriptions. And we'll have the Amazon links down below for these. If you use this tutorial and pro tips to help apply your Nintendo Switch screen protector, then do me a favor and like the video. Subscribe if you love Nintendo Switch. And for more pro tips, check out the other videos on my channel like this best Switch game carrying case. Looks like a Game Boy, has a magnetic closure, and holds a ton of games and memory cards. And it's tiny. That's what I wanted. I wanted one that could be in my pocket. A lot of these bulbous game carrying cases. This one right here, I'll have the Amazon links for this down below. So let me know if you have any questions or comments. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and have a great rest of your Nintendo Switch day.